Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, hope you're all well. Today's video is very much inspired by the times in that in the UK um, we are kind of allowed to have little gatherings outdoors so I kind of wanted to tailor a video towards that which I think will be helpful um, coronavirus or no coronavirus. So as it is summer anyway we often spend more time outdoors whether that's going to the park or sitting in somebody's garden and or sitting in your own garden and enjoying the weather. So I decided to cater this video towards outdoor gatherings, outdoor picnics, outdoor barbecues. I'm sure as time goes by and summer goes on, hopefully we're allowed to see more people and that means more outdoor get-togethers. Um, and often outdoor gatherings are a little bit more casual, but you wanna kind of get dressed up without looking like you've made too much of an effort for standing around in somebody's garden. You wanna kind of strike that nice balance between casual and not too dressy. Um, you know what I'm getting at anyway. Putting it into words is a bit harder. So hopefully um, I'll show you with these outfits how you can do that. I'm going to do a couple more casual style ones and then some slightly more on the dressier end. So then you can mix and match in your own wardrobe. What I said in my last video, I'm going to say again, the advice or the ideas or the inspiration I'm giving you is just that. Go and adapt it to your own wardrobe, your own style, see how it fits with you and works with you. Um, this is just for some ideas and just to get your brain ticking and think, oh, I've got that, I could put that with that. So hopefully it will give you some ideas. Don't forget to subscribe, go and follow me on Instagram as well. My handle is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson and let us get cracking into the video. So outfit one, I'm a little bit obsessed with. I feel like I'll wear this a lot. It's a new dress from Arquette and I actually have, I bought a couple of years ago, a shirt, um, actually it could have been last year, a shirt which is this exact colour and this material also from Marquette which I love and um, this is kind of the dress version. I love that it kind of drops longer at the back, it's just really casual, easy to wear. I don't know if it comes in other colours actually. Usually our cat do a variety of different shades so maybe a blue one would also be really nice. Um, but I love everything about this. I think you could easily dress it up or down, but I've just popped it today with these, uh, not Arquette, these are from Naked Fashion Slides. Um, I, I really want some chunky black, black sandals, but I've not had a chance to search for them properly yet. But chunky black sandals would also look really good with this. Then I'll come closer for the accessories. I've got this Alexandra K bag on, which is like, it's vegan leather in a uh, brown croc. I've got this mango, medallion chain necklace on and my and of the stories sunglasses old bracelet from H&M other ways I would wear this is probably with a basket bag you could put some trainers on some tanny kind of sandals I'd wear white trainers I think would look really nice with it um, I probably could belt it you could dress it up in the evening maybe with some higher mules or something keep it kind of casual but put a bit of a heeled mule with it but I think this is so nice just hanging out in somebody's garden in the daytime or going on a picnic or anything really because it's long I think you can easily sit down in this and make it work but if you like on a picnic blanket or something like that so yeah very very big fan of this first look. So for outfit number two I've got another favourite piece from Arquette. These are these Cool Pro shorts which absolutely love. These are just incredible. I love them. So comfy, so versatile. They're the perfect pair of black shorts. I love the length of them. Um, I love the fact that they're belted but also elasticated waist so it's kind of, you can wear them without um, a belt a bit more casually really and then wear them with a belt, dress them up, dress them down. There's so many ways for these to work. So I've popped them with this old mango linen shirt um, which works really well and then my Uniqlo, not Uniqlo, this belt is from UtterQ, UtterQ I think, I never know how to pronounce it, last year but it's like this tortoise -y kind of shell which goes really nicely with the black and the yellowy shade. And then I've got my Celine tortoise sunglasses on and Missouri earrings, low a basket and then my tan sandals to go with my low ever bag but I do think this one would be a really great one for a picnic we've got shorts on really comfortable these sandals you can just kind of kick off 
if you want to lie down and relax but yeah it's a really easy breezy one that's also practical as well so if you want to go super relaxed and comfy i've kept these shorts on swapped them for a gold buckle belt like that popped a jumper over my shoulders just really casual and then i've got this linen top on from mango which is just like, like a thick sleeve sunglasses from under the stories and then mango little pumps at the bottom but this is just a really casual really comfortable look that still looks quite pulled together and chic but just really casual at the same time and if you're playing sports or outdoors running around then trainers are really good for that and shorts too just very very practical and easy to wear so the next outfit I've got on is this jumpsuit. This is from Nasty Gal last year and I think it's a slight linen blend maybe. It's got that kind of feel to it. Um, and it's like, I'd say it like a buttery creamy colour, which I love. I'll see if it's still around, but I doubt it. But any kind of jumpsuit, like a short sleeve jumpsuit, works really well for something like this. It's easy, it's practical, but it also looks really good and if you've not got much time to think about what to wear just pop a jumpsuit on and you've got yourself an outfit i've paired it with these mango trainers but sandals would also look really nice and then i've got on some layered necklaces and these key sunglasses these are pink toned you know if you don't want the pink or if you want a different shade that would you could easily put anything with it but this is just such an easy look to wear and then if you are somewhere where it gets a bit cooler in the evening you can just use a denim jacket to pop over your shoulders like so and it's just yeah really easy practical outfit to pop together but looks really chic too you can't go wrong with a pair of denim shorts and sandals in the summer months um, and i paired it with this top that i got last year from h&m a little bit more billowy any top with like a billowy puff sleeve i think works really well with shorts because it just balances all that shortness out with a bit of puff on top that was a really bad explanation but i just think the portions balance each other out well and then i've got the mango shorts on not mango shorts mango shoes and these old zara shorts but i love polka dots in summer and i think they work really well with denim polka dot anything and denim works really well together so yeah, this is just a nice one if you want to look a little bit more dressed up, but I think the denim shorts just keep it casual and nice for a warm day. My next look is the classic midi skirt, pattern mini, mini skirt. We all own them. A satin one would work really well. Or any kind of patterned midi skirt. This is actually more of a maxi skirt, but this is from Zara last year. I mentioned this in a previous video and Zara are bringing out some similar ones and I'm sure you can find a very, very similar patterned midi skirt like this. Um, and then I've just got this Topshop ribbed racer vest on with it with my ASOS belt, um, some layered necklaces again, a few bits of layered jewelry I think really make something a little bit more summery, more casual. Sometimes when you have one big piece of statement jewelry, it looks a lot more dressy and formal, but some layered pieces, I don't know, just look a bit more casual. I would probably pop this with my denim jacket just to kind of give it a bit of warmth in the evening so all the sleeves up and yeah it's just really easy i've got my mango sandals on again it's just a really nice one because it's cool it's quite practical with it being a long skirt you can again sit down in it mess around in it run in it if you're not bothered about it kind of coming up so um when i say run i mean like if you are playing any outdoor games like as you do at picnics sometimes this is quite a practical one for that and yeah just really cooling easy to throw on but looks good so if you find yourself wanting to wear trousers then linen ones are a great option really comfy easy to wear it doesn't matter if they're creased because that's kind of the look so yeah these these ones are from mango years ago now but you can always find linen trousers and the beauty of them is that they keep coming back year after year and um, they don't go out of date or old-fashioned whatever um so i've got them with these man mango sandals again and then this top from under the stories that i got last year they did have this in stock this year, but I don't know if it's still available. I will check on the website, but under the stories do some really nice plain tops like this that are just so cool and lovely to wear in 
um, summer and go with so many different things. So yeah, this is I think a really nice option. It's nice and cool and breezy on the top, but you've got the trousers if you want to keep your legs covered for whatever reason, you can do that and then pop a basket back with it. And it's just a really nice casual look. So next I've got this lovely puff sleeve pink dress on. And while I absolutely love this dress, it might be a little bit casual sometimes for if you're outside. So I thought I'd really dress this down by putting my denim jacket on, actually wearing it rather than putting it over my shoulders, rolling the sleeves up, popping the collar up. This just, I think, instantly makes it so much more casual and a lot more wearable just for day to day. And then I've put trainers on with it, which again is another really easy trick to dress down a dress um, and then I got my sunglasses on too so I do think you can really like this dress is very puff sleeves bubble gum but you break that colour up as soon as you put the denim on make it much more casual with the trainers garden parties or outdoor gatherings are a little bit more dressy so it'd be nice to wear it without as well again with the trainers or some flat sandals if it's warm but I think this is a nice way to keep it casual and keep it a little bit more daytime. So my final outfit, I wanted to just show a little something a bit more dressy. So this top I've actually had for years now, um, but I still go back to it every single summer. I love it, it's from Zara. I think it's at least two to three, three years old maybe, I'd say three years old. It's got these gorgeous kind of puff sleeves, which are still obviously very prevalent at the moment. And then these shelf type buttons. And then I've got these old shorts on again. I'm sorry, I can't actually link these exact ones, but hopefully I'll find an alternative. And then my pearl headband, bit of gold jewelry, and just some flat sandals. And I think that's a good way to dress something like this down. It kind of strikes that balance between dressy and casual. You've got shorts and sandals, but the headband and a bit of a puff sleeve and some jewelry to make it a bit dressier if someone's having a little garden party. Perhaps you don't know what kind of um, thing it is. Is it a bit more dressy? Is it a bit more casual? Then you can wear something like this and whip the headband off if the occasion doesn't call for it. But also, if everybody's a little bit more dressed up, then pop it on and it instantly kind of elevates your outfit to the next level. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I've inspired you to have a dig into your wardrobe and get out some outfits and hopefully we'll be having a lot more social gatherings out in the open space or even just going for little picnics. We bought a new picnic basket, so that is now compelling me to go for a picnic every weekend. So that is definitely gonna be on the horizon in all the nice days in summer. So hopefully these will give you ideas of what to wear for that. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.